It doesn't matter how deep you get into the anointing, it will never become a person. When I worship the Holy Ghost as a person, as God, it is a completely different thing than this flow of the Holy Ghost that everybody talks about, the anointing of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost is God in the earth today, and you walk with Him by saying words. My name is Andrew Hemstrott. I thank you for joining us. I welcome you. If this is your first time here, make sure that you subscribe down below. Now, remember, subscribing doesn't cost you anything, it just helps us get this message out and also helps us keep you informed of when we have new videos and content. If this isn't your first time here, you might consider becoming a partner with us, which helps us even more. Say there are benefits. There are benefits. To partnership. to partnership I say it every time we, we get on here the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words right yes. you heard that before well you know a lot of people haven't heard that that's new to them it's new thinking it's a new way of thinking it's a new way of believing and it's a new reality that you begin to walk in I testify to the fact that that's not the way or the reality or the thinking I had before so if we are going to have new thinking say new thinking new, thinking. new, believing, new believing what does that do to the old thinking changes. it changes it lots of times it destroys it and a lot of people don't like that you understand mm -hmm. so if you're willing to believe something new it often requires you to let go of something old isn't that true yes. well and a lot of pipe a lot of people don't like that it's not often comfortable is it comfortable to get into something new no, no it feels a little uh, it doesn't feel quite right you know and yet it feels really right mm -hmm. I have a purpose here for these videos for this message I'm trying and attempting to get you to come with me to where we're going and we're going to someplace new mm -hmm. right yes so obviously I'm gonna use the word as much as I can and the anointing as much as I can to try to get you to let go of some of those old things that have been holding you back and grab onto the new and then we'll move on Amen. people all over the world are doing just that they're letting go of some of the old things that have been holding them back and they're beginning to take up listen take up the new and worshiping the Holy Ghost and when you do worship the Holy Ghost he begins to do something new in you well you know, I've never worshiped the Holy Ghost before aha if you do that that's something new mm -hmm. you understand mm -hmm. and if you're sowing something new you're gonna reap something new from the Spirit of God so people all over the world are doing just that people all over the world are beginning to use the words I worship you Holy Ghost and as we know those words are kind of unfamiliar to most people aren't they mm -hmm. but as they begin to do it the Holy Ghost will begin to move on them and help move them into the new say into the new, into the new. and this is good it begins by using the words I worship you Holy Ghost mm -hmm. now I was thinking about it you go you, you distill down we've we've distilled down so much doctrine into the Holy Ghost is God in the earth today and you walk with him by saying words but that itself can be still distilled down into the words I worship you Holy Ghost because those are words yes. mm -hmm. and he is God yes. in the earth and when we worship him and use those words we're walking with him using the words I worship you Holy Ghost is calling for something new it's sowing to the Spirit something that hasn't been sown before mm -hmm. well I've never heard anybody say I worship you Holy Ghost exactly well if I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost I'm sowing something to the Spirit that hasn't been sown before what can I expect to reap something new something that hasn't been reaped before I testify to the fact this is the case and the main thing and we're gonna, we're gonna be talking about that tonight the main thing that happens is change what changes you changes bad English but you understand you're the one that changes I worship you Holy Ghost 
when I say that I mean using the words I worship you Holy Ghost and when I mean use the words I worship you Holy Ghost what do you think I'm talking about you use those words if I'm gonna use those words what am I gonna do I'm gonna say them who am I saying them to you no I'm saying them to the Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost and when I do that it's doing something he does something for me when I use the words those words do something for me I'm not doing the something I'm doing the worshiping mm -hmm. say he's not doing the something he's, not doing, the something. he's doing the worshiping right i'm worshiping the holy ghost and that does something for me that mm -hmm. does something for me mm -hmm. so i can make this point a little more clear let's contrast that with praying in tongues go to jude jude verse 19 these be they who separate themselves sensual having not the spirit what have they not the spirit, the spirit. The spirit. verse 20 but ye beloved building up yourselves on your most holy faith praying in the Holy Ghost when you're praying in tongues you're doing something mm -hmm. you beloved building up yourself who's doing the building up you are yourself praying in the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. are you getting this so praying in tongues is you doing something you doing something for yourself first mm -hmm. Corinthians chapter 14 verse 4 he that speaks in an unknown tongue who's doing the speaking yeah. Yeah. the he that speaks he that speaks in an unknown tongue edifies himself or builds up himself mm -hmm. other people say it charges up like a battery when you speak or pray in other tongues you're doing something you're building yourself up on your most holy faith you're charging yourself up are you here Look down at verse 14 if I pray in an unknown tongue my spirit prayeth you're doing something mm -hmm. now I've been here I agree with this I preach on it all the time you should pray in tongues and speak in tongues a lot say a lot, a lot. I mean you can do it all day long driving in the car mowing the lawn mm -hmm. praying tongues vacuuming mm -hmm. do it but that's you doing something you're doing something you're building yourself up you get this yes. you're saying things you're speaking in agreement with god because he's given you the words to say mm -hmm. but you're doing something praying in tongues is me doing something worshiping the holy ghost is something else i've been there praying in tongues mm -hmm. worshiping the holy ghost mm -hmm. it's different i'm trying to contrast that to help you see this go to ezekiel ezekiel chapter 47 then brought he me out of the way of the gate northward and led me about the way without unto the utter gate by the way that looks eastward and behold there ran out waters on the right side what ran out on the right side waters, waters. so verse uh, 3 and when the man that had the line in his hand went forth eastward he measured a thousand cubits that's quite a few cubits mm -hmm. and he brought me through the waters and the waters were to the ankles so he's following this river or whatever it is stream right and he went a thousand cubits the water went from wherever it was before up to the ankles say to the ankles to the ankles verse 4 again he measured a thousand and he brought me through the waters and the waters were to the knees what's happening it's, it's getting deeper and the waters were to the knees and again he measured a thousand and the waters were to the loins it's getting deeper isn't it and afterwards he measured a thousand and it was a river that I could not pass off over the waters were risen waters to swim in say waters to swim in waters right a river that could not be passed over so here we have an increase of what could be likened unto the anointing or the flow of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. that go started out uh, very shallow and then it got deeper and deeper until you could swim around in it which is good right yes. I'm not not saying anything against that I preach on this I've lived in this 
i talk about this this is what is talked about in many of pentecostal circles they use this verse of scripture i've preached on this verse of scripture mm -hmm. talking about you need more of the anointing to where you can swim in it right but never does the water turn into a person have you noticed that it doesn't matter how deep you get into the anointing it will never become a person when I worship the Holy Ghost as a person as God it is a completely different thing than this flow of the Holy Ghost that everybody talks about the anointing of the Holy Ghost are you here because I've come up with preachers I, I love these guys but they're not here they're not here where we're going in worshiping the Holy Ghost it's different and I don't care how anointed you are in that river in that flow it'll never be the person of the Holy Ghost it'll just be a greater anointing and flow and that's why they never go here I've been there I know what it's like I know how it is I love these guys I enjoy it I enjoy the flow of the Holy Ghost but it's still the flow of the Holy Ghost or the power of the Holy Ghost it's not the person that you meet when you worship him it's different mm -hmm. say it's different. it's different everyone who worships the Holy Ghost knows exactly what I'm talking about mm -hmm. I've been there and there is not here you can go as deep as you want to go but you still don't know him that's why we have people that can flow in such a strong move of the power of God and they would still never utter the words out their mouth I worship you Holy Ghost mm -hmm. this is why because they're they're flowing in that river but not in this that I'm talking about he is not water did you know that Yes. and in many places in many churches and many ministries that's all that's been available is the flow of the Spirit mm -hmm. and so if I'm brought up into that my thought is if I'm going to increase and expand and grow what am I going to grow in a stronger flow of the Spirit mm -hmm. and so I look to people that have this strongest flow and I, they must be the ones that that know the Holy Ghost the most is that true no they know the flow are you here right. believe me I've preached this I've believed this I've loved this for years and it's very comfortable to do that can you see that mm -hmm. it's very comfortable because there's nothing new to it feels like home you can go ah oh, feels like home but the new is not comfortable the new feels different and yet somehow you know say you know. you know you know that it's right now Acts chapter 2 would have been literally the beginning of the church Do you understand the beginning of the church age should we have progressed since then should it be our main objective to go back to the way they were at the beginning when they literally knew nothing nothing how much did they know when they when the Holy Ghost came and they spilled down into the street I present to you that that was the beginning that would be the beginning of the Holy Ghost coming into the temple now we're coming into the latter days we should be more of a latter temple are you here we should have progressed that's the point remember Paul talking to the Corinthians mm -hmm. what did he say to them I mean this is after the day of Pentecost they would received all of this they were tongue talkers mm -hmm. several times he said what know you not that you are the temple of the Holy Ghost they didn't know that he had to go what how are you missing this shouldn't there have been a been a progression from them receiving the baptism of the Holy Ghost to knowing that they are a temple of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. and what do temples do they worship the God that's in them mm -hmm. I've preached under that same anointing and I've preached the same messages can you understand this yes. I know the flow of that I've been exposed to it. I know the flow that is not this this flow is different that's why people will oftentimes they'll write and go I've never heard this before it's different mm -hmm. and because it is different if you don't think it's different begin worshiping the Holy Ghost and you'll begin to see exactly what I'm talking about you'll know that it's different
can you testify to this fact when you realize that the Holy Ghost is God which is what they should have done through the I mean Paul was even writing to them what no you're not your body's the temple of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. as you begin worshiping the Holy Ghost using those words I worship you Holy Ghost you will realize it's different it's not a different spirit it's a different anointing you start to know him as God and I give you a warning and a caution that if you do choose to cross that line and use the words I worship you Holy Ghost you understand it's a line you use that word you, and you cross that line you go I worship you Holy Ghost things will begin to change you'll begin to change your doctrine will begin to change your mind will begin to be rewired and renewed like the Bible says mm -hmm. the renewing of your mind you'll begin to think differently you'll begin to believe differently you will change many of whom you love and enjoy and like and associate with will not go here they won't go here they just won't they're too invested in the old and as much as you love them they they're too invested in the old they have developed themselves in that old anoint I mean that sounds weird but in the context of what I'm talking about they've developed themselves in the old flow let me say it that way into the old flow to where they can't cross over to the new because they end up losing it all mm -hmm. because there is greater and greater anointings greater and greater flows in that old flow mm -hmm. how much more in the new flow that we're talking about today Holy Ghost worship so they can't go here where we're talking about they won't tell you to worship the Holy Ghost <laughs> you know what I'm talking about there they won't tell you to worship the Holy Ghost they can't go here that I'm talking I'm telling you if there's a place that you go to when you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost mm -hmm. if there's a place you go to they can't go that to that place you're going to mm -hmm. because they won't use those words they can't go there okay. all right and you can't get the new by just increasing the old it'll never take you there right. Holy Ghost worship or using the words I worship you Holy Ghost is calling for something new and God told me that I had to tell this story so I'm gonna tell it sometimes I'm hesitant to tell these things but obviously somebody needs to hear as I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost say worshiping the Holy Ghost I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost and worshiping the Holy Ghost and I've spoken on this at length you enter a room of Holy Ghost worship Do you understand yes. a place that you enter into where you're worshiping the Holy Ghost well as I was in that room say as he was in the room, yes, in the room. an angel was also into the room and sort of I sort of bumped up into him and he looks at me and he says I have nothing to do with people who don't worship the Holy Ghost Psalms 34 verse 7 says the angel of the Lord encamps round about them that worship him and delivers them who does he encamp around those that worship him who does he deliver those that worship him so here's an angel here's an angel in that room that has nothing to do won't have anything to do with people who don't worship the Holy Ghost right. if you don't worship the Holy Ghost he has nothing to do with you and you can't go there and he doesn't go there with you are you getting this yes. there are things that he that angel won't do for people who won't worship the Holy Ghost there are things that the Holy Ghost please listen there are things that the Holy Ghost won't do for people who don't worship him I don't care how anointed you get in that old flow he won't do it they can go so far and no further mm -hmm. they go so far and no further but he must have your worship to do certain things say he, he. The, Holy the Holy Ghost must have, must have my, worship my worship to do, to do. Certain, things. certain things get that straight you may love these people but they're not going here they're not going here they won't go here they refuse to go here they can go here mm -hmm. things will change for them if they do go here here meaning worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today 
but worshiping the Holy Ghost or using the words I worship you Holy Ghost is calling for something new you're paving the way for something new you're paving the way for something different do you understand do you sense that when you're worshiping the Holy Ghost that you're literally paving the way for something new you're paving the way for something different when you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost it is a confession of being his temple whose temple you say the temple of the Holy Ghost the one who's God in the earth today you're worshiping him you're confessing that you are his temple you know that's his number one priority right the Holy Ghost comes in the earth he enters his temple mm -hmm. <laughs> are you here what no you not your body's the temple of the Holy Ghost Haggai chapter 2 and verse 5 according to the word that I covenanted with you when you came out of Egypt so my what spirit remains among you fear ye not what day are we in today are we in the day when his spirit remains among us who's among us the Holy Ghost, the Holy Ghost. you are his temple I can take you to all those other scriptures the Holy Ghost is remaining among you mm -hmm. right among yeah. us but specifically you mm -hmm. verse 6 for thus saith the Lord of hosts yet once it is a little while and I will take and I will shake the heavens and the earth and the sea and the dry land mm -hmm. I will shake all nations who's the eye that's gonna do it the spirit that's in you mm -hmm. that's abiding in you I will shake all nations and the desire of all nations shall come and I will fill this house with glory what house is he gonna fill some other house no this house the one he's moved into what no you not your body's the temple of the Holy Ghost mm -hmm. you seeing that this is starting to get more important yes. to use the words I worship you Holy Ghost is a confession of being the temple of God I will fill this house with glory says the Lord of hosts the silver is mine the gold is mine saith the Lord of hosts verse 9 the glory of this latter house say latter house yeah shall be greater than that of the former says the Lord of hosts or the Lord of Spirits and in this place will I give peace who's gonna do this the one dwelling in the latter house if at the beginning of the age of the church the day of Pentecost that was the former then we must be the latter yeah. mm -hmm. they should have gone from one glory to the next glory we should have gone on from there and gone from glory to glory to glory to glory mm -hmm. to glory so I worship you Holy Ghost is a latter day confession of being his temple you should go from one glory to the next glory to the next glory knowing that you are his temple when you use the words I worship you Holy Ghost and you worship him as God in the earth today you are fulfilling his plan and his purpose as his temple where is he going to reveal his glory in his temple Isaiah chapter 60 verse 1 arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee why would he be rising upon you why would his glory be on you because you are his temple are you seeing this yes. do you see why worshiping the Holy Ghost as God in the earth in yourself in your body is important mm -hmm. arise and shine for thy light is come and the glory of the Lord is risen upon thee for behold the darkness shall cover the earth and gross darkness the people but the Lord shall arise upon thee and his glory say his glory. his glory his glory shall be seen upon thee this is his plan can you see that's his plan yes. he's gonna move into you and then his glory is gonna move in and on you and it will be seen in you and on you is that his plan is that gonna happen if you don't worship him no 
we are sowing something that has not been sown before therefore we are say are we are reaping from the spirit something that hasn't been reaped before we are reaping a glory that has not been reaped before i hope you can hear this because that's exactly what that thing is you're experiencing though this is different than that anointing flow it's a glory flow we are reaping from the spirit glory that has not been reaped before what is the first thing that starts to happen when you use the words i worship you holy ghost it changes you you're changed from one glory to the next glory we're sowing something to the spirit listen we're sowing something to the spirit that hasn't been sown before and that's called worship of the Holy Ghost we're sowing that to him we're gonna reap from him what it's the number one thing we reap is glory and that glory changes us and I testify to the fact that as I worship the Holy Ghost my thinking is changed everything changes mm -hmm. we are changed from one glory to the next glory and then till his glory is literally seen on you his glory is seen on you mm -hmm. so we're sowing the new and we're gonna reap the new a lot of people will be like I don't want that I want the old in greater and greater measure you understand because there is greater and greater measure of the old and you can end up being you know as great as the old guys but they will never go here that I'm talking about mm -hmm. that's why we're here in this last day we're gonna go from glory to glory to glory there is a greater glory in going here i'm telling you i'm testifying to the fact that by worshiping the holy ghost you will be changed from one glory to the next and it's a greater glory than all of the old glories the tried and true won't take you to the new so if you're just comfortable staying where you're at which is most where, where most people are they're not going to be able to go to the new you need to sow the new to reap the new picture this you as his temple what's that look like what what can he do for you remember I started this out saying praying in tongues is a flow of the Spirit you understand that's you doing something what about him doing something for you his glory on you his glory doing things for you it's different are you willing to be his temple if you're gonna be his temple what are you gonna do you're gonna worship him say I, I am, willing am willing to be, to be your, temple, your temple Holy Ghost so I worship you in Jesus name Holy Ghost your God in the earth today Holy Ghost your God